A Wounded Fawn is the newest Shudder original that just dropped. Sometimes we just miss them. Sometimes we, I don't know, we're not picking and choosing which ones. It's just Thursdays sometimes come around and we're like, let's watch the new Shudder movie. And then sometimes we just don't. And, and I feel like eventually we'll get to the other ones, but we just haven't. But we did watch A Wounded Fawn. And uh, what's this one about? Well, hmm. It's about uh, uh, a girl who goes to a cabin with a guy and uh, things don't go as planned. They don't. That's about it. Yeah. I don't know what else to say on the matter. Um, what'd you think? I thought it was all right. I wasn't like, you know, crazy into it. It reminds me a lot, which I told you earlier today, of a mix between like Maniac and uh, Fresh. It's kind of a blend of those two stories. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I thought it was fine. I think I would have liked it more if it was a little weirder. I wanted it to get really weird. And there was definitely some stuff that was, like, surreal, questionable, like, you know, unreliable narrator, maybe even type stuff. But I just, I wanted it to go even more extreme. But I think that the acting from everybody was fine. Um, there's definitely some cool shots that I really appreciated uh, throughout the film, but I'm just kind of meh on it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I quite liked it. Mm. Um, definitely higher on it than you are. Yeah. I really like the style. Mm. Uh, I thought the style the was probably my favorite part. Yeah. yeah. Um, Travis Stevens, who directed this, also directed Jacob's Wife. Um, from a few years back with uh, Barbara Crampton and uh, Larry Fessenden. And uh, I, I quite enjoyed that movie. He also directed Girl on the Third Floor with uh, CM Punk or whatever. I thought the style in that was cool. Uh, I wasn't big on the movie. Um, he also worked on Cheap Thrills, but I don't know if he was uh, involved in the direction or not. I think he was just a producer. Um... Oh, he's actually produced a good amount of stuff. Holy shit. Starry Eyes. And We Are Still Here. And Triple X. Or Double X. And Mohawk. And 68 mm. Kill. And wow. Okay. So he's done a good amount as a producer for horror. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I, I, I quite enjoyed the style. I, I think that this is going to be a turnoff for a good amount of people. Um, I think they'll find it dull. Or uh, too weird. And it's funny that you're like, mm. I don't like it because it's not weird enough. And that might be a good common complaint too. It might be it might be one way or the other. I feel like this kind of falls in that middle area where it's like weird but not u uber weird. Yeah. And I think that will work for some people. Because some people are like, I like weird but I don't like when it gets too weird. Right? And you like it when it gets really weird. Um, and that's fine. I like that too. But... Um, I, I did. I, I liked. I liked that. I think that the film is missing something. One thing is is the chemistry, as you'd said, between the the girl and the boy that go to the cabin. You have to like try to believe that they're a thing and that they want each other. I kind of excused it away because she just tells her friends that she's going to get laid, and I feel like she's just like, ah, I'm just spending the weekend with some guy, and I just want to get laid. And, you know, I'm not going to really take it all that seriously. So I bought it in that way. I didn't think that they had to have great chemistry. They just had to have enough attraction to one another to want to have sex for a weekend. Um, so that didn't really take it out, take me out of it much. But maybe it would have added to it had they had more chemistry and I would have bought into it a little more. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I... I did, I, I did like where the film went. I, I thought that the visuals were cool. Mm. Um, I thought the setups for certain things were, were pretty neat. Mm -hmm. um, I, I liked how it ended, although the end credits feel a tad pretentious. <laughs> uh, just, just, you know, done for artistic sake. And I don't feel like it, it adds anything to the film. Um, but I don't care. I, it's fine. It's just, I, we sat and watched the whole end credits being like, is there going to be something more to this? And it's like, no, nope, it's just this. Um, but I did. I, I, I liked, uh, I liked, I liked the demons and the, and, and, and the hellscape and all that kind of stuff that was sure. going on. And I liked that. 
this film can be perceived uh, in two different ways, Mm -hmm. right? Supernatural or natural, right? Mm -hmm. Like, is this happening? Is it not happening? I I did quite like that it really left it there. It left it in this place of like, is any of this happening? And if it isn't happening the way we're seeing it, I definitely have some questions, Mm -hmm. but they're not unanswerable questions. They're just questions. Mm -hmm. And I think that's okay, right? As long as the questions could have an answer, I'm fine with them. If they seem like there is no answer or they're not thought out, it, it, it feels like uh, laziness. So, um, yeah, I would recommend it to people who like uh, indie, uh, more odd films that are mainly one location, mainly like two people dealing with each other and some trippy imagery. Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, yeah, I think it's worth a, a try. Um, she was kind of blah on it, so I guess it's not much of a recommendation from her, but I think you should at least I mean, give I, it a try. Yeah, I think that it's a really competently made film, and like you said, like the style I think is very cool. That was definitely something that I enjoyed. I just, I was having a hard time, I think, connecting with the characters, and part of that was because of the chemistry and then, as I said, I just wanted it to kind of push the envelope a little bit more. Sure. But um, I think that a lot of people would really enjoy the film. So I would I would recommend it because I, I don't, like, hate it or anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. And for, for all the reasons that you stated. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Let us know if you watch it. See you in the comments. Bye. Bye.